What is going on everybody? In today's video, I'm gonna go over who won the $10 in CRO, the five people who are gonna win $10 in CRO. And I'm then gonna go through two quick stories, PayPal getting into crypto, raising the rates to $15,000 a week, and talking about Brave Browser hitting 20 million monthly users. But before I go into that, Celsius, again, this Monday paid me now over $18 in interest. And this chart shows that Celsius is purchasing sell for community rewards, meaning every single month they are buying more and more sell to pay people every single week like myself. That is one of the reasons why the price of sell keeps going up. So a lot of you guys responded. Let's see who won. I'm going to pick a random number between one and 2000 and I'm going to click generate number five times. So let's go for it. One, two, three, four, and five, 452. And here are the winners. I'm going to leave the first names available and the first couple letters of the email. So if that's you, go ahead and email me. Let me know you're the winner. We have Natasha, Devin, Kelvin, Noemi, and Ed are the five winners of $10 in CRO each. So shoot me an email, guys. Let me know you're the winner. So heading to the first story, PayPal getting into crypto. It's going to expand rapidly next year. He said that includes crypto services coming to Venmo and international customers in the first half of 20. 21. Guys, this is huge. Currently, only 10% of customers in the US have access to the new crypto service with the rest of the US gaining access in the next two to three weeks, which is very exciting. PayPal saw enough interest following its October 21st announcement that the firm has increased weekly crypto purchase limits from $10,000 to $15,000 a week. They said that PayPal is looking to create, quote, the most expansive and compelling digital wallet in the the world. And when this news hit, we remember that Bitcoin jumped 15% in response. So this is massive, massive news. I know a lot of you guys have already heard about this. It's been in the news a lot. Every YouTuber is talking about it. But this is just something that we are going to see more and more of. And it's only going to drive more and more mass adoption. What is very exciting is that PayPal did not say, hey, we're going to wait until there are CBDCs or central bank digital currencies. They said, no, we're going to help people buy Bitcoin, not some government issued token that I'm sure we're going to see a lot coming in the future. And that's one thing I like about PayPal's decision. I mean, obviously it was financially motivated, but I have a feeling there's a lot of high level execs and people on PayPal's board that are crypto enthusiasts themselves. The next story, Brave Browser hits 20 million monthly users, which is a 2.3 times increase from this time last year, which is huge. So Brave is a Chromium based browser with crypto baked in. Instead of lining Google's pockets, Brave pays you in BAT, its ERC-20 based cryptocurrency token when you watch web advertisements. Instead of being a slave to Google, you're kind of a freedom fighting mercenary. Decrypt gave it a glowing review saying it's a quote no brainer for current Chrome users. Let me know guys if you are using Brave if you're watching ads to get free BAT tokens. And check out the Wolf of All Streets. He has 130,000 followers on Twitter check out what he has to say. Every day I hear from normie friends who tell me that I'm nuts for having so much money in crypto and in Bitcoin in particular. But then I look and I see, hmm, I just received my Celsius rewards. And I think, wow, I'm making at least 10% a year of my money. How are your dollars doing in your bank account? So let's take a look at CoinGecko, see what's going on. So the markets right now, I am making this the day before the election. The markets I expect to be pretty crazy in the next day, weeks, or depending on how long it takes to really reach a consensus, there are people saying that there may not be an answer to who wins this election for a very long time, which I mean, the markets are going to go absolutely crazy if that happens. It's just really hard to predict the next one to two weeks. I know a lot of you guys are keeping some stable coins or you have some cash ready if the price dips. So let's take a look. Over the last day, the biggest losers, Bitcoin Cash down 9.4%. 
5.5%. Ethereum down 5.7%. Chainlink is down 10.5%. Binance Coin is down 7.1%. Polkadot down 5.6%. And looking at the last day for the winners, not much. There's a coin I've never heard of, Vite or something, but all the rest are less than 1%. And a pretty down day for the markets though. Reserve rights token down 16.3%. Huobi down 14.1%. Aave down 13.7%. Compound down 13.3%. CRO continues to go down to less than 8 cents. So I kind of predicted this. It was going to go down a bit further, especially as people were getting some of those three-month stakes released to them from the early swap bonus like I did just yesterday. So I can predict over the next week or two, regardless of what happens with this election, this price may go down more and more. But it doesn't mean I'm not still bullish on the company. I just think that people are a little bit skittish and they are selling right now. And when I type in Celsius Network, it is sponsored by Crypto.com. Always ironic, but let's take a look. We are down 2.5%, which is not that bad for the day. Kind of tracking what Bitcoin's doing. We're still at $1.37 for Celsius. All righty, guys. Thank you for watching. And as I was scrolling through Uncrate, I saw that Coinbase, the Coinbase crypto debit card, has an ad here. My guess is they paid to get their product here. I'm pretty sure that's how Uncrate works. You got to pay to get your product listed here. And this card, we will see how good it is. Now, Coinbase is a powerhouse and has such big name recognition in the United States. We'll see just how good of a card this is. Is. If you have a Coinbase account, you can actually just go to coinbase.com, log in, and there's a way for you to reserve your spot, or I think you can be added to a wait list. So go ahead and do that if you're not already. Uh, there's not enough information to really make a video about it yet. But the fact that crypto cards are on a very, very busy website like Uncrate is very good for cryptocurrency. So guys, thanks for watching. Appreciate you all. Till next time, talk with you soon and bye for now.